Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given a random variable and its probability distribution function table. As a first part, we are going to find the value of k. So from the given table, we can take the summation, summation of the probability values is 1. So we are going to add all the probability value which is 0 plus k plus 2k plus 2k plus 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus k which is equal to 1 while adding the k square terms summation is totally 1 plus 2 plus 7 so 10 k square then the values of k so this is 2 k k plus 2 k so 3 k then 5 k then 8 k and 9 k so this is plus 9 k equal to 1 now we have to rearrange this quadratic expression 10k square plus 9k minus 1 equal to 0. Now the product is minus 10 and sum is 9. So from this the numbers are 10 and minus 1. So if I add these two I get 9 and I multiply I get minus 10. So we have to split the middle term using these two numbers we get 10 k square plus 10 k minus k minus 1 equal to 0 taking 10 k common from the first two terms so to become k plus 1 taking minus common from the last two terms it becomes minus 1 into k plus 1 which is equal to 0 Taking k plus 1 common, we get 10k minus 1 equal to 0. Now equating individual factors to 0, we get two values of k. One is minus 1 and other is 1 by 10. This minus 1 is not possible because when I use minus 1 in this table, we get the probability values as negative, which is not possible. Therefore, the only k value is 1 by 10. So, we got the answer for the first subdivision, finding the value of k. Now, the second part, we have to find p of x less than 6, then x greater than or equal to 6. When it says x less than 6, it covers all the values less than 6. So we have to add all these values. So before that, let's write it clearly. In subdivision B, the first part is p of x less than 6. It means p of 0, p of 1, p of 2, P of 3, P of 4 and P of 5. So all these values we have to add. So from the table it is 0, K, 2K, 2K, 3K and K square. So 0, K, then 2K, then 2K, then 3K and the last is k square. So by adding all these values it is totally 8k plus k square. Now we are going to substitute the value of k which is 1 by 10 and here it is 1 by 10 whole square. So totally this is 8 by 10 plus 1 by 100. To make common denominator, let's multiply this with 
10 and this with 10. So total in the numerator it is 80 plus 1, 81 divided by 100. And the second part what they ask is x greater than or equal to 6. It means 6 and more than 6. So these things we have to add. So let's write it here. So p of x greater than or equal to 6 is p of 6 plus p of 7. So p of 6 from the table to k square and this is 7 k square plus k. Totally we get 9 k square plus k which is again 9 into 1 by 10 whole square plus 1 by 10. Then this is 9 by 100 plus 1 by 10. Now again we multiply into 10. Totally this is 9 plus 10. So 19 divided by 100. The third subdivision they are asking for the minimum value of C. If P of X less than or equal to C is greater than half. So for this we have to calculate from the starting. Suppose x is less than or equal to 0 or x is less than or equal to 1. So for every value we have to calculate till we get half. So in subdivision C we have P of x less than or equal to 0 which is 0. Then P of x less than or equal to 1 is made up of two terms P of 0 and P of 1. So this is 0 plus k. Totally it is k which is 1 by 10 but we are looking for 1 by 2. Let's try less than or equal to 2. It means P of 0 plus P of 1 plus P of 2 which is 0 plus k plus 2k. Total it is 3k. So it is 3 by 10. And p of x less than or equal to 3. So we have to add 0 plus k plus 2k. Again 2k. Totally it is 5k. So 5 by 10. After reducing this is 1 by 2. So here they are asking less than or equal to c is greater than half. But we got equal to half. So when it is p of x less than or equal to 4, it means 0 plus k plus 2k plus 2k plus 3k. So totally it is 8k. So it is 8 by 10. So now this 8 by 10 becomes, it is actually 0.5 sorry 0.8 which is more than half half means it is 0.5 so for this value it exceeds half therefore the minimum value of the minimum value of c is 4 coming to the next subdivision we have to find p of 1.5 less than x less than 4.5 by x greater than 2 for this we have to write the formula that is we need p of 1.5 less than x less than 4.5 by x greater than 2. So it means it is the intersection of these two using the conditional property that is 1.5 less than x less than 4.5 intersection with x greater than 2. Then whole divided by P of X greater than 2. For better understanding we take a small number line. In that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are going to find the common between 1.5 till 4.5. This is 1.5 and here it is 4.5. Then greater than 2. This is 2 but 2 is not included and more than 2 and the first one is from 1.5 till 4.5 so the values common for this here 
in the first case 2 is covered but in the second case it is only greater than 2 so 2 is not included so the common for both is only 3 and 4 these are the common region for both for intersection we take the common for both so here in the numerator part it is p of 3 plus p of 4 alone and in the denominator greater than 2 means from the table greater than 2 means it covers these 3 then 4 5 6 7 like so many values are there instead I can put 1 minus these things so we can rewrite this as 1 minus p of x less than or equal to 2 so less than or equal to 2 it will cover the following things that is 1 minus p of 0 p of 1 then p of 2 so it covers all these things now from the table let's take the value of p of 3 which is 2k and p of 4 is 3k and 1 minus this is 0 plus k plus 2k now totally in the numerator we get 5k this is 1 minus 3k you can use the value of k which is 1 by 10 so numerator is 5 by 10 1 minus 3 by 10 we are going to take LCM for the denominator term so in the numerator it is 5 by 10 divided by 7 by 10 after cancelling this we get 5 by 7 in the last subdivision they are asking to find x less than 2 x greater than 3 and x between 1 and 5 so let's find the first part in the subdivision e the first part is p of x less than 2 less than 2 means it covers 0 and 1 it means 0 plus k totally it is k and the value of k is 1 by 10 then p of x greater than 3 instead of calculating greater than 3 we can do 1 minus p of x equal to 0 x equal to 1 x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 so this gives 1 minus 0 plus k plus 2k plus 2k so totally 4 terms now substituting the values here adding this k we get 5k and k is 1 by 10 so totally this is 5 by 10 which is 1 by 2 now the last part is p of 1 less than x less than 5 which means it covers 2 3 and 4 so 2 is 2k, 3 is 2k, 4 is 3k, totally it is 7k, after substituting the value of k we get 7 by 10.